Hello! Welcome back to my Dragon Age Let's Play. Um, it's already been a really long day, so I'm gonna, gonna play some Dragon Age and pretend like it's not. Um, here we are in Red Cliff. So exciting. Um, very much on a lake. Those fish. Those are, those are carved fish. I, I love it. It's great. Um, what's going on? There's stuff in Red Cliff, right? Right? Like Callan had. That's, that's what it is. It looks like a bunny. He squint. Um, Thank you for that, Cullen. It's, I'll get on it. That's what he said. In Inquisition. That, that hasn't... Like, you haven't missed that. If you... Don't remember that happening. It's because it hasn't. General store. What's going on in this general store? Looks like some shit. Looks like some shit Direct me. has gone on in this general store. Um. All right. All right. I really don't want you to like me any more than that. Okay, thanks. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Break open the door. Let's do it. What up? Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Uh, I felt like it. We'll go where we like, unless you'd like to stop us. No, no, have to run the place. It's not like I could stop people like you anyway. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. What are you doing shut up in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. My boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? A little bit true. Either die out there, or here and now. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want <laughs> me out there so badly. Good man. Huh. Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. True. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Swag. Is there anything back here? That uh, I can't open. Okay. Pointless rooms. That's a bedroom. Okay. What else is there here in Red Cliff? That's not an openable door. That is not an openable door. So what? I wonder, do you intend to take your mother's place now? Take her place? What do you mean? As the new Witch of the Wild. But that was her title, no? When one slays the queen, it's assumed they'll take her throne. Considering the throne is a small shack in the middle of a cold wilderness, I think I may just pass. And why would you lie to me, I wonder? Ah, is this the part where you hint at some subtle plot of mine? Because you are so very perceptive? So you didn't know what your mother planned until you read it in that book. That's what you said. That is correct. I admire you. You are a wicked, wicked woman. 
And you are a fool who spends far too much time on his hair. <laughs> hmm. Always ready. What? 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 Yeah, just, just some death root over here. Are we gonna get another, another conversation when we go back? That's not a door. I wish it was some zebra stare flirting, because I ship that a lot. Oops. Like a lot. It's, it's sad. It's a, it's a good ship. Good ship. That's some good ship. Um. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Open this door, I'll break it down. I am. Uh, Alright, just don't destroy anything, damn you. Okay. Somebody's been drinking. So, open the door. <laughs> I've got nothing of value for you. The military's taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. There's no need for a beating, provided you do what I say. Hmm. What do you want exactly? The militia needs your help. Desperately. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Or you could work to save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Uh, fuck yeah I am. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. And what if she's dead? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. <sighs> yeah, I guess, whatever. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. What's stopping me from lying to you? Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Yeah. Not really. Then you should know the value of a deal. You want something, I want something. <laughs> I promise you I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Or again. Right, it seems I, need I have this. some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Uh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Or again. Step. I don't think you want any of those. <gasps> <laughs> cool. 
door. Suddenly wet, Alistair groans and mutters something under his breath. <laughs> that's my favorite one. I'm glad that that's the one that happened. Because that is for sure definitely sexual. <laughs> there, There is nothing over there. I'm not going to run over there because I know. I know that there's nothing over there for me. I'm not going to be tricked into going over there. I'm not. It's not going to happen. Hmm. I'll get on it. Severin. That's your face. Thank you. Can't read that book. Yeah, what up? Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. Nothing. Glad I talked to you though, that was good. Feel I feel like we're friends now. It was, it was fulfilling. Such sinister glares do you a disservice, dear Morgan. Yours should be a face that smiles. Do tell. Has no one told you? Perhaps that is not surprising, considering you have lived such a sheltered life. Were you a woman of the city, you would be accustomed to men showering you with praise and gifts. I know as much of men as I need to. I know when one is indulging in pointless flattery, for instance. It is flattery only if I exaggerate the truth to please you. I am but stating a simple fact. Tell me, does this work on other women? I think any woman would like to hear the truth of how her beauty affects a man. Do you not? I think that sort of manure is best reserved for farming. <laughs> ah, one day you will realize that you have wasted your youth and beauty on bitterness and suspicion. Mark my words. Remind me to bring you along if we go sailing. The hot air will prove useful. Love it. Here we go. You're gonna talk to this guy. Sir Per. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Bantigan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? I don't care what you call me. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well. With a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be. All things considered. See what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. No word from the castle? No. All is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Got it. Ah, sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you for your words. So large. Redcliffe just got me so big. Stop fidgeting. I don't like being out here, Dwin. The mayor's giving me the evil eye. And well he should. Because you're a good-for-nothing liar. And a thief. Well, we'd 
don't understand why we're out here. We're out here because I say we're gonna help these people. And since I pay your wages, you're gonna do as I say. Oh, sure, boss. Whatever you say. Thought for a second that might be Brian Bloom. But I don't think it is. Um, oh yeah. This is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go yell at a nun. Cause that's how I do. I yell at nuns. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us. And a mage, I see. Yet you still defend our home in its darkest hour. We are grateful. I have my own reasons to be here. Which doesn't include protecting innocence. Regardless, I am grateful the Maker brought you to us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can't you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I will. You will help them because I tell you to. And do it quickly. You, you dare threaten me to lie to these poor men? To tell them the Maker protects them when he does not? Yeah. Very well. Though I loathe doing this, you leave me no option. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Ha! Oh my god, I have to run all the way back up. Let's run in front of those arrows. I like to live on the edge, you know? Just doing what I can. To live an exciting life. What's up, bro? The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. What else is wanted of me? Okay. Just to that. Grab shale. Oh, blast it. Yes. I don't know how soon the fight Where is. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. I'm not going anywhere. What are you talking about? Oh, it looked like you were. If you did leave, I doubt we'd still be here when you got back. I'm just saying. What the fuck? 
Oh my god. Where did you fucking take me? Are you fucking kidding? That is some bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god, why did that happen? Why couldn't... Why couldn't we just... Why couldn't we just do that switch? And just it not be a big deal? Why did it have to be a big deal? Oh my god... Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Pantigan the militia is ready for battle. Ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Nah. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. So fancy, fancy graphics. They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. They're going so fast. Okay. So, shale. Sweet shale, baby. Mm, yeah. That's what I want you to know. Aww. That's sad. But that's okay. Because... There is gonna be fire. Good job, Shale. I'll get him. Proud of you. You cannot win.
time that everyone regenerates their stuff. Okay. That's enough. That was weird. I like, I distinctly remember there being fire involved in that little thing. Like where all those barricades were. There was fire. And it was a problem because everyone kept running into the fire. And like, that was dumb. walking corpse. There. Let's fuck you. very rude right now. Thomas. <laughs> yeah, really kind of all of Red Cliff is dead right now. Yeah, all of them. Hey, 
talking about? You fucking stop. You have no skill, only desperation. Oh my god. But like where? Okay, here's one. Couldn't do it. Dawn arrives cool. and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. Yeah, I boy. thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. I hope we'll be discussing a reward soon then. If need be. With luck, we'll be discussing that with my brother. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Sir Perth, valiant knight in the service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe, we salute you. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Cool. Good job, Zevran. Um... You probably need something, right? I don't know. Um, dexterity and strength? I'm gonna give you all strength because armor. I don't know. Cool. Here we go! I don't know why we couldn't have just walked together. I don't know why I have to do this by myself. But apparently I do. Single night. I don't, I don't need that. Many good folk died here, but now is the time for rebuilding. With luck, we may yet restore Red Victims. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was the nobody inside floating. at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you mention this before? 
I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tiga. Alone. You don't seem very concerned about what's happened here. What? Who is this woman, Tiga? Were it not for her help, Isolde, I would not be here. I owe her my life. Friggin' or we crush the heads of rude women when we feel like it. Just so you know. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... <laughs> considering the circumstances... Please, Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive Shale. within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Tell me about this mage you mentioned. What's that about? He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. He came for help. What more do you want from me? Why don't you not but to be I such a stupid I do not understand bitch. what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself you to live. Lying, the bitch. others are not so fortunate. It killed so many. And turn their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but why are you always lying? I do not know why. It allowed me why to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. This is a mistake. You're gonna get yourself killed. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you True. excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Ugh. Or lesions, am I happens. right? I go in with Isolde, and you enter the, the castle doors. using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Good. This is the way I'd prefer it. Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. I don't think we can afford to strip any of the few defenders the village has left, just in case. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. He sold me and anyone else. We are expendable. Of course you're expendable. Well, that's something, I suppose. But I can delay no longer. <laughs> Allow me to bid you farewell. 
Good luck. Cool. Um, so I have a lot of things right now. I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I don't, I don't want them. They're not necessary. I don't need these short bows. And now I'm gonna pretend like I have room for things. Um, quick check with Ziv. <gasps> yes. Better armor. Awesome. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't need that. Alright. Got it. This is a windmill. Love letter. Cool. Secret passage. Secret passage. Under the windmill. Secret, 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 secret passage. <gasps> Are you ready for so much angst? coming up. I didn't know it would be this soon. I'm so excited. We're gonna try and keep it a secret. This Hello? Is there someone out there? Who is it? By all that's holy you. I can't believe it. Oh my god, it's Jowen! We're sorry that we betrayed him. We are. We feel bad about it. We wish Chantry wasn't so awful and that Templars hadn't turned us into a really awful person. But that happened. Jowen? Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people. Jowen, what have they done to you? What they do to all traitors and would-be assassins. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you to finish me off. I'm not gonna kill you, Jowen. You might change your mind once you hear. I poisoned the Arl. For all I know, he's dead already. Yeah, I know about that. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was... Uh, a terrible thing, but I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. The Chantry sent her away. I don't... I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? What's going on in this castle? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. No, baby. Why'd you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. 
All I wanted was to be able to return. But he How abandoned sad is that? me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. It's uh, good to hear you say. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. Um. That doesn't... That, but this doesn't explain everything that's happened. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I see. I think I understand. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. So what do you intend to do about it? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what Stop I did. Stop it! If it ever meant Stop. anything, please help me fix this. No, baby. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve to call you a friend because I betrayed you. Why can't I just say yes right away? I need I need you right now to stop upholding the chantry right right now. Um I helped you once, but I didn't. I, I don't. I don't know. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Give me a chance, please. I'm letting you out of your cell. You're letting me out. And what then? Escape. This is your last chance. Also, I can't guarantee your safety if you stick around with these people that you tried to poison. If you run away, you'll be fine. And maybe we can be friends after this blight is over. No, I'm not leaving. I made a mistake, and I'm going to find some way to fix it. No! 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 No. Jalen, get out. I don't want that. Anything... Anything that happens after this is not canon. I'm saying no. Um... This pile of filth. It's myself. There I am. They put me into the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. All these corpses coming to life. I'm be mad about it. I'm not. I'm not happy with this turn of events. What a mess. All right, all right. 
Why am I just like not putting my weapon away? Huh. Well, um, that's it. That's all that's gonna happen. I don't know why Sybil's so ready for action. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye bye.